This is the second of two videos in which we will define the terms we use to describe the different igneous rocks. In this video we will focus on the terms that we use for extrusive igneous rocks. Once again, these terms are all related to how the igneous rocks have formed and we will relate this to the igneous textures that we observe. In this video we will just be looking at these terms here that are used to describe extrusive igneous rock. Extrusive igneous rock can take a few forms, including crystalline, fragmented, glassy and vesicular. Crystalline extrusive igneous rock forms when molten rock spills out onto the Earth's surface. This formation process means that we have much smaller crystals due to the very quick cooling of the molten rock. We often get this from lava flows or mid-ocean ridges where the lava is able to pour out onto the surface of the earth and not do so explosively. This type of formation creates anaphanitic rock, which is the opposite of phaneritic, which means the crystals are too small to be seen. Here are two examples of an anaphanitic rock. Basalt here forms when molten mafic lava pours out onto the earth's surface and rhyolite forms when, less commonly,